Hello and welcome to my second devlog about the game I call Down Down Die. If you want to see the first devlog I made, then go ahead and click the link in the description. Today I want to explain why I converted my mobile game into a PC game and I want to talk about some other cool and exciting game design decisions. So first of all, why did I do the conversion? Well actually, just because creating a mobile game, that scope is way too big of a challenge for my lazy ass. I mean, you all know all the extremely bad video games and the ads that make you want to go kill the creators. But if you want to make a mobile game that is actually good and may even sell it for money, then you need a lot of advertisements. However, these advertisement polluted and crappy games normally have thousands for advertising the game. But I am a 17 year old student who doesn't have a lot of money and definitely not enough to buy ads so that they just go under in the mass of stupid game ads from game studios like Voodoo. The mobile gaming market is ginormous, much bigger than the PC and console gaming market. But competing with that ocean of stupid games is really hard, especially if you want to request money for your game. Because people are used to get mobile games and apps for free. And yeah, in conclusion I just thought maybe it is easier to generate only a few cells with higher outcome than many with less. Cause I think people are generally more willing to pay for PC games. So instead of paying 100 euro for an Apple developer account, I'll probably just upload it on itch.io. At least that's the plan for now. Okay, with that being done, let's actually start with speaking about the game. So first of all, I swapped out the mobile controls with keys on the keyboard. For jumping, I've chosen the keys W and the spacebar. For the walk input, the horizontal arrow keys and A and D. And for opening the backpack, C and E. And for using the item slots, 1, 2 and 3. And for switching the swords, you now have to use V or Q. Something that was always missing was HP and shields UI. Cause it's generally nice to have information if you are dying or if you are ready for the fight. So I went ahead and designed the UI elements. Then I let the health manager of the player update the UI according to the current health and shield amount. And now if you take damage, there is a damage pop-up that shows how much you've lost. But what is a game without screen shake? Well, not a good game. So for the feeling of the game I did exactly that. But not in a classical fashion with a power noise, but with a shifted sign function with a controlled magnitude that decreases itself. And in the game it looks like this. As you have probably noticed, my game is a platformer. Nevertheless, I had the problem since I started development, which was the player getting stuck in walls. Solving this was actually really easy, I just had to clamp the velocity of the player. Now jumping is much more enjoyable and controllable. And some effect designing later, I had nice controls and some cool effects. The next point on my list was the reworking of the slash effect and combo system for the sword. But I'm too lazy to explain what I did exactly, so just have a look. Afterwards I noticed that the HP UI is nice and all, but the impact and visuals of receiving damage isn't as good as I imagined. So I created different effects for shield and health damage. And I made a system that heals the player after a certain amount of time. But I make the self-healing abilities rather weak, because the player should depend on healing items, at least for their health. The last really important thing that I did was creating the backpack UI. Again. Because if you remembered, I converted my game into a PC game, so I had to redo all the UI elements. So yeah, I started with the animation and then with the visuals. And then I let the item manager control the UI and reverse. And I think the results are looking really really good. You can now access the backpack with the keys on the keyboard or with the mouse. So that's all I had to say. I'm really thankful for your attention. And if you want to follow the project then you can subscribe to my channel. I hope I can keep uploading videos and that I improve my skills. Bye bye!